If you want to be feeling good, then a healthy dose of art and culture might just be what you need. Better than, say, a large number of troops, state surveillance, and nuclear submarines. I think Nina Simone would probably agree. So why is it that when it comes to government spending, art and culture is valued at less than a single percent of the annual budget? Are we truly invested more in fear than in hope? In this edition of Ethics First, I'll be pondering these questions, along with the wisdom of Maya Angelou, the nature of democracy, and hope. What is it, and where can I get some?